Hello folks, Richard Emmers here from Windows Phone Central and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the upcoming 1.4 update for web apps which is a quite a popular and well rated uh, Windows Phone app which enables people to check out apps uh, available from the web uh, that aren't actually available on the Windows Phone store so they're not native apps per se, they're sort of wrappers uh, pulled down from the internet so if we quickly take an example here, our own Windows Phone Central uh, web app that will just simply load the mobile version of our website and then you can read all the news and it just keeps it a lot nicer than using the web browser uh, Internet Explorer for example uh, so this is the app itself, it's been on available, uh, available in the store for some time and what is new in version 1.4 which we're highlighting in this quick video is the option to set live tiles which as you can see here with National Geographic, Popular Science, Reddit and of course our own Windows Phone Central tile there as well as that's our native app which is available in the store uh, but these are for web apps and as you can see they're live so they're pulling down the latest information from that web source uh, which is a big deal for people who rely on these apps um, to get the content that isn't quite possible on the platform yet so this is an update that's coming out in the next few weeks. Uh, this is actually a quick preview and to get access to this live tile functionality you will need to upgrade. Uh, these are currently free because this is of course a beta version but the uh, microtransaction will, there's a, a not another option here which we don't currently have because we've already got the upgrade to show you the live tile functionality but that will have a, another option there for live tiles which you can then upgrade as you see fit if you would like that functionality. And should you purchase that microtransaction, you will then be able to head into the Live Tile Web Apps settings, and here you can configure which ones are live and which ones are turned off. Uh, it's very simple, very straightforward, and then you just simply pin them to the actual home uh, start screen and configure them as as if they were native apps. Uh, the only thing you have to watch out for is actual apps that do support Live Tile functionality. So if we go to the Facebook. That doesn't currently support it because there's no with live tile uh, note there. Whereas if we quickly head into news and weather and head up our own app, you'll see there with live tile. So then you know that it's going to have that functionality and you can pin it to the start screen. And of course, with these apps, you also have them in uh, native apps in, available in the Windows Phone Store, which will have that alert there. But just keep an eye out for with live tile and you'll be able to pin them to the start screen and enjoy. Uh, some degree of functionality that's available with uh, native live tiles but you're not going to get all the features as you'd expect with a native app but it gets the job done and it looks pretty cool so check that out in the latest update of web apps which will be available like I say in the coming weeks and for more information check out wpcentral.com thank you very much for watching folks take care